Have you ever stopped to ponder, is tithing really a divine mandate or a misinterpreted tradition? Tithing, which is giving one-tenth of one's income to the church, is a practice rooted in ancient times. Over the centuries, it has been adopted and adapted by various Christian denominations. Some view it as a sacred obligation, others as voluntary generosity. But the question remains, is this practice truly grounded in biblical teachings? Let's delve deeper into the biblical scriptures to uncover the truths about tithing. The scriptures often cited to justify tithing can be found in the book of Malachi, particularly Malachi 3.10. Here, the prophet implores the people of Israel to bring a tenth of their crops to the storehouse, a command that is often interpreted as a directive for modern-day tithing. However, the context of this scripture is crucial. It was a specific message to a specific group, the Israelites, who were under the Mosaic Law. Turning our attention to Deuteronomy 14.22-29, we find another reference to tithing, but with a crucial distinction. The tithe was to be enjoyed by the giver, not just given away, it was a celebration, a feast, not a burden. And in Leviticus 27, 30, the tithe is described as holy to the Lord, yes, but it was primarily agricultural, not monetary. These scriptures, when examined closely, paint a different picture of tithing than what is commonly preached. So where do these tithes really go, and is the church's use of them biblical? Often tithes are used for church maintenance, salaries, and outreach programs. Regrettably, there have been instances where tithes are misused for personal gain, a stark contrast to biblical teachings. The Bible, in Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 29, emphasizes helping the less fortunate with our tithes. In essence, tithing as practiced today may not align with its original biblical intent. As believers, it's crucial to seek truth and understanding in our practices.